Hey, what's up, guy? But the word day might not be as familiar with everyone. Day is, um... Day is a, I believe it's Greek. If it's not Greek, I'm fairly certain it's Greek. I, I might be wrong. Please correct me if I am. But is Greek for God. So literally, we are the cult of God. And, uh, because Imagio Dei means image of God. So, and I find that to be interesting. I don't know what Jian Shang Di means, though. I love this. McDonald's, please. In the future, we have McHacks. Here's our med kit. I believe since we're playing it in the more difficult mode, it's only going to let us heal up to a certain amount. It's not going to let us heal up to full health. Hey there, don't shoot. I'm not your enemy. A federal cop is not my enemy. This I gotta hear. So you and me, we got the same goals. How should I say? Some guys pay me for urging the feds to get the hell out of here? It'd be a lot better for business. Sounds like a trap, or basically you're a corrupted cop. So we'll tell them the first one. Huh, I guess you can see it that way. I'd say I got higher fish to fry at the Federation. So are you going to give me a hand? And what's in it for me? What am I going to ask you to do will weaken the Federation in this sector a lot, and you'll earn loads of brozovs. Great, so what do you want? Start by deactivating the burner to create a diversion, and when it's done, come back to me fast. So we gotta deactivate the atmospheric burner. This guy, who knows who he is, but he says he's freestyling. Prince of freestyling. Yeah, our medkit isn't gonna let us heal that little bit of health we have missing. All right. We could get, we could do some interesting things. I think we could go for let's go for strength and agility and holy fifty. Wow. Anyway, I think we get a class called like Shadow Hunter if we do this. We're still considering an equilibrium fist. Oh well. I think it would be fun to do strength and agility. The reason I love uh, a strength and agility combo, or the, the idea behind it, I've never done it yet, is because strength lowers your speed malice. So, you know, you carry equipment, you get slowed down, but the higher strength you have, the less you're slowed down, percentage-wise. Agility, of course, increases your speed. Therefore, strength and speed go hand in hand to make you one fast mofo. I can imagine at the end of the game we'll be packing all sorts of equipment and yet not slowed down at all. We'll just be zooming across the map. It'll be awesome. I can't wait to see it. In the meantime, we have to still assassinate that federal cop that the mentor wants us to assassinate. We also have to hack the atmospheric burner that the corrupt federal cop asked us to do. Can we fit in here? No. That's a grenade. Jeez, you have good aim. And our leg is broken. Hold on. You'll find out quickly that for the first cycle, I call it cycle, but you know, through your first round in any character, the med kit is pretty invaluable. You you can you can do it without the med kit. You can go through the campaign without it. It's not mandatory. Um But any character's first time through the campaign probably gonna want to take it. It's a good idea. Uh, one thing I will say is you get experience points. Okay, I don't. Sometimes the names are goofy. It said we killed a crook. Anyway, you get experience points each time you heal yourself with the med kit. Later in the game, the amount of experience points that you get for healing yourself is pretty insignificant, but early on in the game, it can boost you. It can give you that little extra oomph you need to get from level 9 to level 10, if you're close. We got hemorrhaged there, 
hemorrhaging is it, uh, it occurs anytime you get shot um, I'm sure you all know the well I'm sure some of you know the medical definition for hemorrhaging and it's identical to the definition in this game it just means you bleed you're bleeding out and unless you perform maintenance on yourself you'll continue to bleed out and slowly lose health where is the med kit there we go Ah, uh, yes, we could get this guy to, um... This is the federal cop we could get to corrupt in order to cause a diversion for the... Oh, shoot! That was scary. Thought he'd be dead in one shot, but... In the beginning, when the mentor asked us what we wanted to do, corrupting that guy that we just shot back there was one of the options. But yeah, if you've gone through the game, you know, like two or three times with a character, I usually don't. I usually don't take the med kit with me. Depending on your medicine stat, you can almost get by just by performing maintenance on yourself. Okay, so this is the guy we got to assassinate, and we successfully assassinated him. We're gonna overclock our submachine gun here. Overclocking it makes the bullet shoot out insanely fast, turning the submachine gun into a pretty deadly weapon. But it really has to be fired in bursts, because your accuracy goes to pot pretty quickly with it. You can see here, we're pretty much just downing things left and right. Let's go hack this atmospheric burner, we should be able to reach it from here. We're doing this to help out the corrupted federal cop that we ran into. Not to be confused with the corrupted federal cop that we shot in the head. Alrighty, mission succeeded, we gain Brozovs. Such a great name for money, Brozovs. It's got the word bro in it. Yo bro, can you spare me some Brozovs? Ah, the bullets. Not today, sirs. Yeah, be on the be on the lookout for briefcases. Briefcases contain items that can be used to research new developments. Is this one even close to being done? What? We didn't I thought we Oh dang it. Oh well. I forgot to launch another research. I'm used to playing the game with endless invasion, so I'm not used to actually the streets being empty. Frankly though, endless invasion mode is kind of frustrating and I, um, I'm happy to be playing the game normally again. I think if I play through again on single player, well, I'm playing on single player now, but what I mean is I think if I play again without doing a let's play, I'm going to turn off endless invasion. It just kind of got tedious and frustrating after a while. Excellent. Our operation is a success and went off without a hitch. Time has come to accomplish what we came here for. A double-crossing member of I has stolen the cyber brain of one of the heads of the Secretor Secretorium, and uh, he's about to sell it to our enemies, the Federals. This brain must not fall into their hands. Leave internal security issues out of it. You must retrieve the cyber brain. I'll oversee the operation from here. Special Agent Tetsuo followed them to their meeting place at, at this very moment in a storehouse nearby. Hurry up and prevent the double agent from selling the cyber brain and make no waves this time. Waves, you should tell the federal forces not to open fire first. Be careful of the federal patrols. They have increased their forces since last time. Don't do what you did on Zevio 33 and this time stay hidden. Well, the thing about staying hidden is you kind of need to turn invisible to stay hidden, of which we do not have that ability yet. So, we're going to suggest an alternative, since we really don't have the ability to do this mission without causing waves. 
An alternative? I must admit you intrigue me. What are we talking about? Well, we could tell him that we've received a tip that Chung would be in this town with his gang. Chung? That old pirate scum. Ah, I understand better now. You want to use this pawn to do the job for us. A subtle idea, but it is a very risky idea. We could tell him it's right, it's too risky, but... No, we'll tell him don't worry, I know how to deal with Chung. So much confidence from you, I can't wait until you retrieve your memory, because the last time you dealt with Chung, it went really badly. But I trust you. Go! So we've dealt with Chung before. We're gonna go say hi to him again. Apparently he knows us, but we don't know him. I don't know how we got tipped off that Chung was in the area. I mean... Actually, technically, we already have bumped into him. But even if we hadn't bumped into him, it would still give you that option in the dialogue. Oh, what? Where? Mm. Frustration. Go away! I'm sure you also know this, but uh, for the uh, newbies in the house, when you reload your gun, you don't get to keep the extra bullets in the clip. You discard the clip. I actually like that game mechanic. It's way more realistic. Hey, Murphy here. This is the guy we hacked the atmospheric burner for. How efficient. So the guys tasked with the informatic survey will have their attention diverted by the burner. Stop telling me your life story and tell me what's next. Hey, calm down. Patience is a virtue. Save your damn philosophies for your drinking buddies, or... Right, so what's next? Hmm, so now I need you to sabotage the access doors to the area to prevent federal reinforcements from arriving. Okay, give me the waypoint on my interface and I'm on it. Perfect, and we'll, we'll be off. So we've got three doors we have to hack in order to keep the feds from arriving. Now here's Chung. Oh man, not you again. This can't be happening. Wherever I go these days, you and your mentor seem to pop up. Look, to be frank, I can't remember what happened last time. Right now, I'm here to ask you a favor. Are you serious? You want me, Chung, to help you? Secretary Vermin? Why would I want to do such a thing? Because you want to be rich. Just because we did a few jobs together, and if you help us, the Secretary could return the favor someday, because you wouldn't want me as your enemy. I like that one. What? Unbelievable. Are you threatening me, maggot? I'm going to kill you as quickly. Kill... Kill ya quickly, for old time's sake. All right, enough talk. Farewell, and don't forget to send me a postcard from the afterlife. <laughs> well, as much as I'd love to do that one, we need this guy, so lower your voice, cretin. Think of all the advantages you would gain from helping us. We would be most appreciative. The secretary will be thankful. Yeah, I have a lot of trouble believing that horse crab, but I still have... But I may have an exchange of good faith for you, pal. All right, I'm listening. Well, you clowns are preventing us from conducting our business. Like, in your blockade and on... Alpha Kether City. Our convoys of sexual slaves can't get in, and we're losing a lot of money. Do you really think we'd give you into your demands? All right, I'll see what we can do. Okay, I see if you, if you help us, I swear to help these guys. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Cool, man. How can I help you? Should I blow something up again? Or maybe you want some gold leaves? Or maybe your bosses of the secretary are like federal politicians, and they want fresh chicks. Uh, no, not at all. I want you to kill one of our men and his little federal buddies. Ah, that's all? You want me to kill some poor traitor and his little girlfriends? Give me that place, intelligence, and I'll send some men. All right, I'm transferring you the intel. Call me when it's done. And that's that. We're pretty much free to just go about doing whatever. We will move over to the uh, access point over there eventually, just because I'm not sure if Chung's men will trigger until you go over there but in the meantime we can definitely hack these three terminals so let's move out with a little bit of caution our mentor did say that the feds have repopulated the area wait was that one right there yep hmm we're gonna want to remove this sentry gun Actually, I have an idea. Why remove a sentry gun when... Oh, dang it, the signal got messed up. Alright, let's try this again. 
Sometimes the signal on your hacking unit gets messed up and it just goes slow like that. Sentries are a bit harder to hack, it would appear, than just old dusty terminals. But we should be able to do this. There we go. So now we have a sentry gun. I'm just going to set this out here. And we'll be back for it later. And the streets are quiet. Better get used to the hacking interface. We're going to be using it a lot. So I guess we're... <sighs> Bad connection again. Bad connection again? What is up with this? Anyway, that, that sentry gun is actually covering for us while we're hacking this thing. Which is pretty cool. But this should keep the federal forces from coming in. Or, so the storyline goes, no federal forces actually come in through those doors. Oh, did they blow up our sentry gun? Our research finished. We'll go ahead and research the Manduko corpses. Anytime you kill a new Metastromonic force, you can research their corpse to get another scientific discovery. Did you guys blow up a- what the- Hi! You jerks, you blew up the sentry. Oh no, it's right there. Never mind. There we go. Let's go hack that other door. Adios! Man, that guy flew. Having agility will also be nice, just because traveling from one, one location to the other Especially once you start to be going through the story mode four, five, six times. Um, it's nice to actually be able to move quickly. And we just have one more door. A network of sewers runs through this city. The entrance to... one of the entrances is right there. There's no real need, though, to ever go into the sewers. One of the NPCs we'll meet later. Not too much later, but... Um, he mentions a monster un in the underground that is behind a door. Um, unfortunately, the only information I can find on these monsters, or this monster underground, is that it was a bug quest, so you can't actually complete the quest, sadly. Alright, so we succeeded our mission again. Get more money in Brozov's. Is Brozov's French? Also, I've wondered if... It seems to me that the characters in this game, when they do speak, speak in an alien language. Although, it could just totally be French with a voice filter. I don't think it is. I, I, I really know nothing of French other than what I've heard in movies and stuff. And it doesn't sound like French to me, but then, like I said, I, I really don't know anything about French, so it could very well just be. It would be interesting to know whether it is or not. Some sentries like to shoot missiles. This is one of them. You could go hack it. You could try and run up to it and push it over. It's a funny thing about sentries. They're pretty dangerous until you just walk up and push them over. I personally prefer to just shoot that one to death. Um, you do get experience points in this game for every shot 
you've executed against an enemy, not from killing the enemy. So it's a good way to get some cheap EXP. Well, we did take quite a few hits from that thing. Oh, blast. Not much to do over here other than our main part of the quest. Yeah, this guy here is the guy, Harry. He'll tell you about a secret entrance to the cave, but I have found no information on it other than it was a bugged quest that does not work. Yo, sup, dude? You're the homeboy making all the mess in town? This guy says absolutely nothing. You 